the training, um, any of that stuff. And we're going to go ahead and start with our warm up. Um, good. So go ahead and start bringing those knees up right here. So as I mentioned, it's always really important that we kind of get our muscles moving, moving, blood flow throughout the body. Good job, guys. Let's go, guys. I love seeing you guys commenting. Like to know that you're here, so keep that going. Keep that alive. I appreciate that, y'all. Good. Step it out wide. Just go side to side. So keeping that chest up, booty is going back into the heels. Nice work. Just waking up those legs a little bit before we really start moving here. Good. Give me four. Good. Three, two, and one. Take it to that nice job, guys. So again, this is a strength class, but it is really important that we get our muscles, bones, joints, everything warmed up. And we do that by getting the body warm and getting that heart rate going. Good job, y'all. Good, so what I want you to do is take it out, out, in, in. Like you're going through some tires, right? Out, out, in, in. Just slide on your feet. You don't have to go too, too fast. There we go. Nice job, crew. So this is officially our fifth live stream. You can always go back and watch the other ones uh, along with this one as well. I will try to ensure that each one is different. Here we go, give me four, three, two, jack it out guys, right here. Arms coming up over the head. Now anytime you take those arms up, your heart has to work a little harder, again, to pump that blood to your extremities. So you should really feel that heart rate coming up. There we go, go work. Good, give me four, three, two, and one, come down low. We're gonna step it forward. I want you to squat to stand, come back, step it back, squat to stand. So we're just adding in some movement here, waking up the legs, arms, and that core. Step it forward, good. Step it back, give me that squat. Good, step it forward, squat to stand, and back. One more time here. Nice job, starting to feel that heat. Tap it back, good. Now stay low, I want you just to tap back. Tap back, watch your weight. Make sure you're not running into them. Tap it back, tap it back. Nice work, guys. Give me four here. In three, two, and one. We're doing that low knee pull, so right here, pulling it in. So we are starting to wake up your calves, hamstrings, glutes in the back side of the body. Nice work. All right, give me four, three, two, switch sides. Pull it back. Awesome work, guys. Keep breathing for me. We've got four, three, two. Bring it up for that jump rope right here. Pulling your tummy into the spine. You're very light on your toes. Knees are moving. Biceps are pulled in as you add that jump rope. Awesome work, crew. Take that jump rope side to side right here. So again, just adding a little bit of extra movement. Turning on the obliques. Great work. Good, give me four, three, Two, and one, we sink low again, tap it out, tap it out. Good. Side to side movements, inner and outer thighs, and those glutes. We are looking great. Less than a minute left in your warm up. Good work. Here's four, three, two, and one. Come wide into that plie, sink it down, shoot straight up. Sink and shoot. Awesome job. So in this plie squat, knees and toes are going out to the diagonal. Keep breathing. You are almost there. Nice work, guys. Here's four, big three, two, and one. Breathe it out. 
That is your quick warm up. If you need anything else, please feel free to take it. So for today, we are focusing on using fairly heavy weights. I'm only using one set of dumbbells today, but as you see, I'll change how I do my various repetitions and or how I use both weights or just one, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started and pick up both of your dumbbells. We start with those lunges. So what we're gonna be doing is the same leg is coming out to the front and then to the back. So it'll look like this. Lunge front, stop center, lunge back. So same leg that's moving. Let's go in three, two, and one. Let's go. Lunge it forward, tap center, lunge it back. Good. So I always like to really start with lunges as our body is nice and warm. We get into the muscles and get into the legs first thing. Because as you guys know, after an hour of doing this, you will definitely fatigue. Good. Tap it back. Good. Tap forward. Tap it back. Tap forward. Tap it back. One more time on the side. Tap forward. Good. Tap it back. We switch legs. Left side. Take it forward. Tap center. Tap it back. Good. Now as a reminder, I am not at home with you, nor are we all together in our favorite gyms, right? So if you are working on anything specific, or if you're trying to heal any area of the body, please make sure you take those modifications. On the other hand, if you're really trying to rev up, especially on Monday, feel free to add anything additional. Again, this is your workout. I'm just your guide. Give me one more front. Good. One more back. All right, guys, we're going into an isometric lunge hold. So we're going to get into that lunge. Step one foot back. Nice, deep, deep stance. We're hinging over at the hips, and we're tight grip row. Tight grip row. Good. Pull it up. Give me four. Here's three, two, and one. Stand it up. We switch legs. Woo, glutes are already on fire. Come down into that lunge. Hinge over at the hips. Good. And pull those weights up for eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Tap those weights down. Stand up. So if you've taken these live streams by now or if you know how I run my classes, we usually do two exercises. Now we go back and repeat. So we start over, weights in those hands, we lunge forward, lunge it back in three, two, let's do it. Lunge, big step, come center, take it back. Good. All the way forward, center, take it back. Now any time that our body is off balance, which in a lunge we are, because we're putting one weight on one side of the body versus the other, we are turning on that core. Okay, so your obliques are already engaged. You are moving here. Nice work. Keep your chest up. Nice, long, straight spine. As you tap it forward and tap it back. Woo! Give me one more on this side. Then we got to add in the left. Awesome job, guys. Left side. Take it forward. Tap. Take it right back. So as I hope you notice, my lunges are making a 90 degree angle in both of my knees. So whether I'm lunging to the front or lunging to the back, I'm trying to go for that right angle, okay? Now again, if you're modifying, no big deal, do what you need, but really try to keep that good form here. Tap it back, nice job. Go forward. Good, and back, awesome. I don't know about you, I'm breaking this sweat already. Woo. Last time forward, good, last time back. We're getting into the isometric hold. I'm gonna show you from the profile side. So right foot forward, left foot, foot back, bend into that lunge, right? Hinge the hips over, tight grip row. We've got eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, 
and uno, woo, big step to the front, other leg goes back, bring that knee down, pinch forward, let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, if you need a quick drink of water, please do that. That was two rounds. At the tail end, you'll see these moves again, but for right now, we are moving on. Okay, so grab one of your weights, one of your weights. We are going to hold them one base and then the other base. Okay, so we're getting that low, narrow squat stance. We're gonna squat walk it to the front for three. Pulse, 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 and extend up, come back down. Then we'll walk it back. Good. And then we'll pulse, 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 extend up. Come with me, guys. Stay low. Let's go. Walk, 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 walk. We've got three, two, one. Shoot to the sky. Come back and walk it back. Good. These duck walks are powerful. Three, two, one. Push. Again. Walk, 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 walk. Three, two, one. Push. Back down. So chest is up. Booty is back. Woo! My legs are on fire already. Good. Extend. Take it forward. Nice job, guys. Good. Three, two, one. Extend and sink it back. Good. Give me three, two, one. Extend. Now, I'm using a 15 pound weight. If you have two lighter weights at home, you can totally do that. So, again, just make your modifications or changes when you need them. Okay. Legs come wide. That weight is going to come in the center. We've got a single arm deadlift press. Sounds crazy. It's not. Hitch over the body. Quickly pick up. It's a full snatch. Drop down. Switch arms. You'll pick up, come down. Bending the knees as you go. In three, two, let's do it. Bend, full snatch, pick up. Bend your knees, return down, switch arms. Pick up, good, return down, switch arms. So again, you guys know the rule. Anytime that we are lifting anything over our head, our heart has to work harder. So it is normal for you to start to feel a little out of breath, right? Nice job. Now I want you using a heavy weight. So if that means picking up that laundry detergent or that jumbo box one, you do it, right? Right. Good. Drop down, pick it up. Good. Drop down, pick it up. Last time. Drop down, pick it up. Bend your knees, drop down. Catch your breath. Round two, pick up that weight. Squat walks to the front. Now remember, the lower you go, the harder you're working. Sink it down. Let's go. Walk it. Walk it. Walk it. These are not big steps. Three, two, one. Shoot to the sky. Good. As you are shooting, that tummy pulls in tight. Good. Give me three, two, one. Shoot to the sky. Walk it. Small steps. Okay? Keep it low. Keep it in the glutes. That means that booty. Shoot, bring it down. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Good. Three pulses. Three, two, one. Hello, Monday. Walk it forward. Good job, guys. Three, two, one. Shoot, bring it down. Last time here. You guys are looking like pros. Come on, extend. Return down. All right, you know the drill. Wide stance, drop that weight, okay? Always, always, always bending the knees. That helps uh, cushion your body, protects your spine, yes? All right, in three, two, and one. Hinge over, full snatch up, bring it back down. Good work. Now, if you're like me, people live underneath me, so I'm having to use my core even more to make sure I'm not slamming that weight down, right? Good work. The neighbors knocked on my door the other night. Good job, guys. Bending those knees, using your hips to your lower core, to that upper body. Total body movement here. Drop down, pick it up. Last time on each side. You've got it. Awesome work, and return down. Whew, heart rate's up. Grab your water, 
grab a quick drink or towel off if you need, and we are moving right along. Okay, we're keeping that same single weight. We're going into a side step front kick. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We're gonna come into that side step lunge. So both my toes are facing the same direction. Chest is up, butt's back. I'm gonna lift up, front kick extend. Come back up, side step, lift up, front kick extend. Okay, come with me when you're ready. In four, three, two, let's do it. So side, lift, extend. Oh yeah, you can feel your balance, your core turned on. Now if you need to tap in, that's okay. If you need to drop the foot for a break, that's all good. Okay, I'm giving you some options, some ways to make this harder, challenge yourselves, even when you're at home. Last time on the side, switch to the other side. I'm gonna show you from this back view. In four, three, two, let's do it. So step out, pull in, and extend. Good. So chest is up, spine is straight. Be careful with that side lunge. Form is important here. Good, lift, extend, tap, lift, extend. Two more, lift, extend, last one, lift, extend. Awesome job, guys. I know I'm giving you a lot of combo ones, that's only because I know you can do it. All right, grab your other dumbbell. We're gonna go into a V bicep curl. So I want you to think, uh, thumbs are gonna be up and you're gonna come up right to your shoulders. Okay, so keeping it tight, pulling it in. Woo! We're gonna go in three, two, and one. So curl to the outside, good. So the base of that dumbbell is trying to come up and tag your shoulders. Nice job. Lift. Nice job. Now, if you have heavier weights, you might be knocking off a few reps. If you have lighter weights, maybe add a couple of reps, right? So I have 15 pounders, and I'm doing 10. Okay, so just gauge yourself there. Oh, yes. Last time. And lift. Great job. One weight drops down. You know the drill. Side step lunge. Front kick in four. Three, two, let's do it. Step it out, pull in, extend. Now my foot is flexed. I want my quad turned on. You're not just a flag flapping in the wind, okay? You are strong here. You are controlling each movement. So think about it. Stay focused and breathe. I know balance is hard. That's why we do it, right? One more, and lift. Take it to the other side. In four, three, two, let's do it. Side step, up, extend. Now it's okay to acknowledge if one side maybe is a little more sturdy than the other. It's all good. Lift, three more on this side. Last two, and last one. Woo! All right, guys, time for that V bicep curl. So your stance when you're in a curl can either be a neutral, slight bend in your knees, hips tucked under, or it can be an extended stance. Either one works, whatever you feel comfortable with. Here we go in four, three, two, V curl for 10, nine, good, eight, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. If you need a quick drink, grab it. I am sweating, so towel off if you need a towel off as well. All right, we're gonna work some of the inner and outer thighs, glutes, upper shoulders, and upper back now. So pick up those weights. We're gonna come back to that plie stance, which again, toes and knees face your diagonal. It's a wider stance. You're gonna give me two 
plie squats to one upright row. Come with me, look at the screen, let's do it together. In four, three, two, let's do it. So it's one, two, come up all the way, upright row. So down, down, upright row, that's it. Down, down, upright row. Good. So you guys know I love a good combo move, working lower body, in with upper body, that naturally taps on the core to engage. Good job. Now these weights are fairly heavy for me for an upright row, but it feels pretty good for that plie. So we've got two plies to one upright row. Great job, guys. Good movement here. And lift. Last time. And come up. Awesome job. Drop one weight. We are going into a single side plank row. Okay? So you have some options. You can always do your plank on your knees. Just make sure your back is in a nice straight alignment. Or if you're more advanced and you're looking for the challenge, come up to the toes. See how my knees are sagging? Zip everything up. We go 10 to the right, 10 to the left. In four, three, two, let's do it, y'all, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo-wee, other side. In four, three, two, let's go. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You should have felt your obliques turn on, trying to keep those hips square, yeah? All right, you know the drill. Upright row, double plie, in four, three, two, let's do it, guys. Give me one, give me two, come into the upright row, drop it. One, two, stand, upright row, good. So your elbows are coming out wide. I want you to think full chicken power here. Good, drop, drop, lift all the way up. Good, nice work. Good, drop and drop, upright row. Hang with me, you've got a few more. Nice job guys, last time, drop. Drop, upright row, beautiful work. All right, crew, we go into that plank, single side row, elbows in tight, try to square your hips to the ground. Come on down to that plank position, guys. All right, right side goes in four, three, two, let's do it. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Switch that weight. Awesome job. Here we go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! All right, guys. These two rounds go quick. But remember, for those of you who are here for the full workout, we're coming back to them. So don't forget these guys. They're gonna be your friends in the next couple of minutes. All right. Both weights in your hands. We go to that single leg planted deadlift. Okay, so for me, if I'm gonna be doing a deadlift on two feet, this typically isn't a heavy enough weight. However, if I've got one foot, that works a little bit better, right? So you're gonna hinge over have a split stance. Your foot can either be planted on the ground or it can be slightly up. You're hinging over. Let's do it. So we're hinging down and stand. Hinging down and stand. Good. Hinge and stand. So again, slight bend in the knee. You're not squatting to the ground. You are acting like you are looking over a bridge. This is one of my favorite moves to do for the gluteus maximus, minus, minimus, and into the hamstrings. Basically that booty area. Can I get a heck yeah, woo! All right, silent on my end, but I know you guys are cheering on your end. Last time, and lift, switch sides. All right, y'all, in three, two, let's do 
it. Drop it down and stand. Good. Hinging over, pulling up. Zip your tummy to your spine. Try to keep a nice, long, straight form in your body. Good work. Good. Lift. Lower. Hang with me. Good. You've got three. And lift. Two. And lift. Last one. And lift. Awesome job, guys. Keep those two weights. We are moving to those cleans with an alternating overhead press. So watch first if you haven't done cleans with me before. Slight bend in your knees. Pop the weights up. We're going to press to the right side. Press to the left side. Roll them back down. Okay? My weights are fairly heavy. So again, if you need to add reps or take away reps based on your weight, please do that. In four, three, two, let's go. Bend the knees. Flick up. Right press. Left press. Roll down. Bend. Flick. Right to left. Roll down. Bend. Flick. Right. Left. Roll down. Bend. Flick. Right. Left. Roll down. Bend. Flick. Last time. And roll down. Awesome job. Heart rate should have gone up on that one. All right. Back to your single leg deadlift. You know your enhancements. You know your modifications. Take them. This is your workout in four, three, two. Let's make magic happen, people. Drop it down and stand. Good. Drop and stand. So your hips are staying square. That means right hip and left hip are going down at the same time to the floor. Good job. Drop it down and lift. Drop down and lift. Last three. Lift. Last two. Lift. Last one. And lift. All right, guys, switch it up. Here we go, guys. Take it down. Good. So I know sometimes it's hard to get your form, but just think, or if you have a mirror or a window you can look at, that's great. Slight bend in that front knee. You are acting like you are looking over a bridge. Someone is floating some ducks down the river, right? Good work. You've got three to go. Three. Good. And two. Good. And one. Woo. All right, y'all. Time for those power cleans into our single shoulder press in three, two. Let's do it. Bend your knees. Flick. Give me a right side. Give me a left side. Curl down. Pull your tummy in. Bend. Flick. Right. Left. Curl down. Bend. Flick. Right. Left. Curl down. You're looking good. Flick it. Good work. Curl down. Bend. Flick. You're looking great. And return. Woo, guys. You are killing it. I'm loving it. Stay with me. You're going to need your mat. You got to have a mat for this one. If you don't have a mat, grab a blanket, grab a pillow. If you have done my classes before, one of my favorite moves is called the surrender. You're literally surrendering your weight to gravity into the floor and then trying to get it back up. So you have options. You can use one weight. You can use two weights, depending on your level, how hard you're working today. Basically, a surrender looks like this. I'm always in a low stance. I never come to full standing. I'm going to drop one knee down, drop the other knee, come up, come up. I never stand, right? All right, come with me. Get into the squat stance on your mat in three, two, let's do it. So knee, knee, foot, foot, knee, knee, foot, foot. Now, what about if you have some knee issues or this move just doesn't work for you? Great, no big deal. You can do squats, you can do some lunges, you can do anything else that might work for you, okay? Do what you need, it is your workout. I'm just giving you guys some variety, spicing up your life a little bit, making you feel good about this Monday, in quarantine, right? Right, pause, so 
switch sides. Other leg is leading this time. Oh, mama. Yes, that feels different. One side is naturally a little stronger, but that's okay. Acknowledge it and roll with it. We don't have time to waste. Good job. Good. Last two here. Step back. Come up. Good. Step back. Come up. And stand. Woohoo! Okay. Keeping that single weight. Okay, stand right where you are. Here we go. We're gonna go squat to stand, squat to press. Come with me. Squat to stand, squat to press. So for this one, I want to keep our heart rate up as we're working those legs. Okay? Lift, power, press. Squat to stand, squat to press. Squat to stand, squat to press. Try to keep those elbows close to the body. Can they kiss your kneecaps? Squat to stand, squat. Last time. And relax. Y'all know what's up. Time to surrender our souls. I'm just kidding. Got a lot of energy this morning or afternoon. This Monday. Here we go in three, two. Knock it out, guys. Down, down, lift, lift. Good work. So I know things might be crazy at home. If you've got your family with you, or if your work schedule is all wonky, okay? We're in this together. Exercise and your body is one thing you can control. You might think you need a gym, or you might think you need a special bike or this or that. You don't, okay? You can control this. Every day, you can control what you do with your body. Come on. Last time on this side, hold it and pause. Other side, let's go. Take it down. Pull it up. Go, go, go. You're looking good. Oh, my legs are on fire. We're in this together. Come on. Last three on this side. Woo. Last two. Last one. And stand. All right, guys. Awesome work. Grab. Oh, no, we're not done. We're not. We gotta go back to squats. I tell you, my mind's all over the place right now. Squat to regular. Squat to press in three, two, and one. Let's go. Squat, stand, squat to press. Squat, stand, squat to press. That's it. Finish this round out. So typically when I'm teaching, if I forget something, my members are usually pretty good about like, Emily, I forgot this. I'm like, okay, right. But now it's just me. So let's hope I get it all. Last two. Come on. Nice job. And stand. Great job, guys. All right. One more round here. Grab your water. Grab your towel if you need it. We come back down to the knees. If the knees is not an option for you, get on your feet, okay? So it's a variation. We we'll use a little bit more core with these next two moves. Okay. Well, all right, side wood chop. Okay, one heavy weight. You can hold it at the base. Keeping the hips as straight as possible. We go from one diagonal, lift, pull to the other. Okay, so we're crossing the body, come with me. We've got eight, pull, seven, six, five, four, three, good, two, and one. Thank you, God, for giving us two sides of our body. Other side, let's go. Here's eight, seven, good, six, five, here's four, Three, two, and one. So if you've done a standing wood chop, this is sort of harder, isn't it? Because you're not using any of your muscular strength from your legs. All right, come on for triceps. Sit that tummy in, elbows in tight. Drop it down, extend up. Good. So a lot of times I encourage members 
to come down onto your knees, especially if you've got a bad habit of arching that back and rounding it. You want to tuck your hips in, keep everything tight, and nice one straight line. Awesome work, guys. Hang with me. Here's three, two, and one. Round two, I'm just gonna switch directions so you can see from a profile view. You guys can keep it the same as you need. All right, here we go. So we start diagonal wood chop in three, two, let's do it. We pull up, lift, good, lift, 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 give me four more, four, here's three, big two, and one, switch sides, we go eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Tricep, sit the tummy up, elbows in close to the ears. Let's go. We drop that weight down, come back up. Try to get to that 90 degree. Good work. Good. Squeeze your glutes. That'll help zip your tummy up. Great work, guys. Stay with me. You're looking great. Here's three, two, and one. Whew. Awesome work, guys. All right. So now is the time. If you need to dip out and you're not staying for round three, you can leave. If you have to go make dinner do whatever else. If you want to finish with some core on your own, great. For the rest of you, stay with me. I promise we'll be done by 5.30. We're going to do our third round. So sometimes this is the hardest part of training, knowing you've already done the major bulk and you have to come back. But we're going to do it anyway, okay? Pick up both of those dumbbells. It's that front to back lunge on the same side. Do not turn me off yet unless you have screaming kids or something crazy going on, okay? I promise. Start your Monday off right, it's all that matters. In three, two, let's go to the front, right side. Come center to the back, come center to the front. We are going to breeze through these moves. You guys know them by now, you are ready. This is your last burn, come on. To the front, hold center, to the back, hold center, to the front, Center, back, two more on this side, and you will never see this move again. That is for today. Who knows what next week will bring, but for now, pause, switch sides, give the left some love. We go front, hold center, and back. I know your muscles are fatigued. I know you're sweating. I know it's Monday, but I always tell my regular classes and my members, you don't know what the rest of the week will hold, right? So if you start your Monday strong, you know that in your week, you've got in one of your best workouts, right? Could be raining, could be snowing. Who knows, you could be in a, a global pandemic, right? So work it out. Last time to the front and to the back. Great job. All right, guys. Those isometric holds with that row, remember this? So step it back in that lunge, drop that back knee, hinge over, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo! Step it up, other foot goes back. Bend that knee, hinge over, let's go. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Bend, drop your weight. Stand up. Quick towel off and go to our next two. It's that squat walk, front to back, triple pulse, extend up. All right, let's go in three, two, let's do it. Baby walk it. Little steps right here, now pulse. Three, two, one. One, squeeze the tummy and come back down. Walk it back, walk it back, walk it back. Three, two, one, press, that's it. 
walk. Can you get a little lower? One inch, three, two, one, boom, down. Let's go, let's go. Here's three, two, one, Woo! two more times. Walk it, get lower, get lower. Three, two, one, push. Good work, guys. Come on. Three, two, one, push. Oh. All right. Wide stance, weights on the ground. Remember, this is our alternating, all the way snatch up, yeah? Here we go in three, two, bend your knees, let's go. Down, power up, tap down, switch, power up, tap, power up. Good. Come on, let that sweat fling. My floor is dirty. I'm gonna have to mop it. The dogs will be sliding all over the place. Come on. Three to go. Yes, you can. You'll never see this move again today. Awesome job. You got it. Last time to the right. Last time to the left. And push back down. Have you noticed I picked up our pace a little bit? Because our last push, so I want your heart rate up just a little bit more. You're gonna be fine, I promise. You can pause me if you want. Try not to. Okay, guys, we go to that side step out to that front kick. We're gonna do eight on the right, eight on the left, all right? Pick your spot in four, three, two, let's do it. Side step out lunge, pull that knee, kick. All right, remember, you're not a flag flapping in the wind. You are controlling this movement. Flex your foot and your leg as it extends. Step out wide, pull in, this is your four. Step out, pull in for three. Step out, pull in, big two. Hello, one. All right, take it over. Three, two, let's go. Good, pull it in. Now I know I push you, I don't give too long of breaks, because if you need breaks on your own time, pause me, take it, come right back in. Okay, I'm trying to keep you at a certain level, so work for it, okay? You can do this, anybody can do this. Last two, great job, last one. Woo! Guys, V bicep curls, your number is 10. Remember these? Thumbs come up. In three, two, let's go. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees, drop the weights down. Grab water, grab your towel. We move on. Double plie, single upright row. Channel your inner chicken. Let's get ready. All right, in four, three, two, let's go. Double plie to the ground. Come up, ride that upright row. Double plie, ride that upright row. Awesome job, guys. Come on, your focus on a Monday has been key. I've seen a lot of you stay on this whole duration, coming into your third and final round. It's not easy. No one said it was going to be, but you're here. It's all that matters. Double, double, pull it up. Give me one more. Good, pull it up. Woo! Drop one leg to the side. Oh, we've got those single plank arm rows, okay? Find your plank position. Remember, you can be on your knees, or more advanced, full toes. Squeeze everything together in four, three, two, let's do it. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo! Roll it over, don't drop those knees. You're stronger than that in three, two, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and 
One, come up. Do you need a towel off? I'm sweating. So, whew, okay. That single leg deadlift. You are so close. We've got a few left. We are looking beautiful in time. So don't you worry about that. Dinner's coming up. Here we go in three, two, and one. Hinge it over. Great job. I made some vegetarian crock pot chili. Oh, it is good. Had some plain Greek yogurt, a little bit of vegan cheese, some flaxseed chips. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a healthier, but it's gonna be good for that chili. Nice job, guys. Give me five here. Stand, four, stand, three, two, good, and one. All right, split stance, other foot, slight bend in your knees, hinge over, right? Let's go. It's 10, lift, nine, eight, good, seven, you got this, six, good, five, four, three, Here's two and one. Bring both the weights. It's that double clean, single overhead press. Okay, bend your knees, flick it up in three, two, let's do it. Good, flick, push, and push. Good, flick it up, bend those knees. Now I make this challenging because if you wasted an hour of your day and you didn't feel exhausted, or that you worked, or that you got stronger, what's the point, right? No one wants to do anything extra. This is your hour. I want you to push as hard as you can. Last time, lift, push, and push. Awesome walk. All right, grab that mat. Two rounds. Oh, we start with those surrenders. I know. Surrender your soul. Here we go. We start on that right side. It's gonna be an eight lift on the right, eight lift on the left. There we go. Three, two, let's do it. Down, down, lift, lift, good. The more you stream in with me, the more you'll get used to my pace, my cadence, some of the goofy words I might use for moves, and this will flow so much easier. If you have special requests, Things you really want to work on, please let me know. I'm doing total body here. If you've got a favorite move, I'll add it. Pause, eight to the other side. Let's go. Stay low, guys. I know it hurts. You can do this. Lift, drop down, and lift, drop down, and lift. Last two, and lift. Last one. And lift, stand all the way up. Bend, drop that weight, come right back down. All right, chops, diagonal. You know this move, you are so close at the end. Don't give up, in three, two, let's do it guys. We go up. So it's natural for your body to twist a little bit, but the idea, trying to keep those hips square, Work in the obliques, upper back, into the latimus dorsi. Good. Last two. Last one. Other side. Lift. Lift. Good. Crossing down. Great job. Here's four. Three. Here's your two. And your one. Tricep extension, grab that weight, hold it from the base, elbows in tight, zip your tummy in, let's go, bring it down and up. We are getting very close, very, very close. We've got a few finishers and that's it. Your Monday workout will be done. Let's go guys. Here's four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. If your mat or blanket has been folded, you can undo it. Oh, it's 
Here on the long side there, grab a quick drink. We're going down to the mat. Last minute class. We're gonna knock out some chest work. So we are going to do one pulse, one chest press. Two pulses, two chest presses. Three pulses, three, three chest presses, and we'll go on. You can take breaks when you need them. This is gonna be tough. If you are using your heavy weight, you are gonna feel this bad, bar, bad boy burn. Ugh. Lay down, y'all. All right, zip your stomach to the floor. Here we go. It's a baby press to a chest press. Two baby presses. Give me two pre uh, full presses. Pulse in for three, two, one. Give me one pulse all the way up. Two and three. We go for four this time. One, two, three, four. Press, press, press. And press down below. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Your number is six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me six, five, four, three, two. Whoo, number is seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two. Number is eight. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring those weights down. You can roll up, drop them to the side. Woo, awesome work, guys. We're not done yet. You're close, though. Okay, we're gonna go into some core work. We're gonna be utilizing planks. So if you need to take modifiers, please do that as well. You guys know the drill. So we're gonna come out starting with that low elbow plank. Okay, so come on, drop down with me. So level one, you're gonna keep your knees to the ground, still a nice, long, straight spine. Zip that tummy up, eye gaze right out in front. If you're more advanced, come on up to those toes, zip your kneecaps up. All right, we are going to a weight shift or a saw. So you're gonna move forward, move back. Move forward, move back. Good, so the weight is just changing. From your toes back to the heels. Toes to heels. Good job. Nice work. Here's your eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down. We come to that right side plank. You can decide if you're staying on your knees. Okay, you can come up to full side plank as well. All right, arm is going to be right at your side. We are going to uh, thread it down. Here we go. Here's 10, lift, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna switch to the other side or you can flip over wherever you are. Here we go. Side plank, hold it up. Knees are up on your toes. Arm up, fold it down, move back 10. Here's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Roll right into that lower plank. Last holding bit right here, guys. You got 15 seconds and we stretch it out. You have worked really hard this Monday. You earn your dinner, your prep for the week. Feel those endorphins. Give me three, two, and one. Send it back, y'all. Child's pose. Knees are out wide, toes come together. 
and you're going to reach down. Awesome work, guys. We're going to thread that needle so your right hand will lift up and then it'll cross underneath your body. Now, depending on where you are, you can go a little deeper. Great job, guys. Let's go to the other side. Extend, thread that needle through. Great work, guys. All right, slowly come up. Bring the knees in together. Take that left foot, come out. We're going to lean into that hip. Now you can stay with your hands pressed right here, or you can come all the way up if you want a little bit more, and then lean it back. Make sure that toe is not going over, or your knee's not going over your toe. Great job. Go bring the arms down, give me a half split. So you're gonna straighten that front leg, dorsi flexing that toe, so your toe is up. Hi, boys. Dogs are back, dogs are back. Hi, babies. Good boys. All right, y'all, bring it in. We're gonna switch it back to the other side. So tap back, good. Hands can place on top of that thigh, or they can reach up. Great job, go ahead and reach it back, straight leg, reach for that toe. Awesome work, walk the hands up to the feet. We're gonna hit those quads. So good, go ahead and stand straight, reach back. Great job, switch to the other side, guys. So as a reminder, our next live stream is going to be Thursday, 3.30. So if you can get away a little early from work, that would be great. Good, come out wide. Round your back out. Pull the chin in. All right, let's reverse that. Pump the chest up. Look up to the ceiling. It's really great. All right, guys, and that's a wrap. As usual, thank you so much for joining me. Totally means a lot. Again, if you've got questions, comments, or concerns, please uh, leave them in the notes. Feel free to message me. Let me know what you want to see. Um, stay safe out there. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Hopefully, I will see you on Thursday. I did write it here. Trying to be a little more legit with this uh, Facebook live stream stuff. So, anywho, thank you guys again. Always appreciate it. Good work today. Good hustle. And take care. Thanks, guys.